Hello guys, it's Nilfax back on another Minecraft video and on today's video we are finally doing a cruise ship tour and if you're wondering what cruise ship we're doing, we are doing a cruise ship I recently just finished and it is, if you guess, OACL Waterline or the third generation of the OACL Waterline If you don't know the OACL Waterline, she is a cruise ship I actually built like two, one and a half years ago in PlayStation 3 and I built her one year ago in PC, but I rebuilt her recently. And this ship is... I just finished her some days ago. She took quite a long time to build because I tried to make her as detailed as possible. And I think I accomplished that to make her as detailed as, as I could. And this is not a full tour. I'm just going to like go for like a preview because I really want you, you on YouTube to check it out for yourself because there's a download link in the description and I would really be happy if you would check it out so if you download this world and I hope you do it you will spawn in here with the like basic information it is 129 meters long and 23 meter, meters wide uh, she's not a really big ship if you see she's really small so we can uh, go in her that sounds really weird but yeah we can just enter so we can just remove that. So this is deck 2. This is mostly crew decks and stuff like that. And each deck is actually named after a Caribbean port. I'm not going to go through the engine room and crew decks. But if you want to check it out for yourself, please download the ship. So yeah, we will continue. So this is deck 3, San, San Juan. And this is deck where the atrium starts. I tried to mimic the idea of of the last OECL or generation 2 of OECL waterline and I think I did it pretty well. Uh, this part is now a name because I forgot to name it but this is Atrium. I'm pretty proud of the Atrium but it's not my best Atrium I've built in my opinion but I think it's pretty cool Atrium. So here are just some seatings and here is the theater called the Magic Theater. So yeah. We can go back down. It's pretty dark because of my shader. We can turn on the light a bit, I guess. Ah, oh, that didn't help, but yeah. This is the theater, the magic theater. In this deck, the lifeboat deck also starts. So if you see here is the lifeboat deck, but not the master deck. Master deck, it's above us. What did I just do? Come on. My controls are freaking out right now. Freaking out. So here is cabins for deck 3. There are quite a lot of different cabins, so I'm just gonna go through these ones. These are actually premium cabins because they are pretty big. Yeah, I say pretty big because the cabins are you know, in the ship is pretty small. See here is the premium cabins with obstructed view, so that's fantastic. They actually have a toilet for one, so yeah. If you see there's quite a lot of cabins. Here is the metal center. Um, and here's more cabins, many many more cabins, you see, these are quite small, these are the normal size cabins actually, <laughs> really small. Mm. And inside of here is the crew galley if you can, no, uh, the main galley of the ship, so we will go up one deck, to deck 4, called Philipsburg, Ikid Promenade. So at the back is the Crystal Palace. The wow, it's just raining. You know what? It's, it's, it's rain then. Uh, it's the main dining room or the only dining room on the ship because the ship is so small that she can't really hold all the dining room. So, this dining room is pretty small to be honest, but I couldn't really have really big things. But I'm really proud of that dining room because I just love the details. But you need to decide for yourself if you like it or not. There's quite a few seatings because this is a small ship. But I'm just afraid that th this dining room will be really cramped. So we'll go back here. We'll start from this side actually. This is the Red Temple Arcade. Just a small arcade that I had placed full because every ship needs arcade. Here is the Camp Creativity. Camp Creative. It's just a small kids club because I 
every ship need needs a kid club kid club. So just a really small kid club here. Here is the sandstorm casino. Casino and the exit to the master station. Yes. Okay, I'm back. Again, if you want to check this video, this cruise ship out for yourself, you can download the link on the description. But if you're watching this from uh, Planet Minecraft, you just need to click uh, download. There is the nightlife disco, the disco for the ship, or the dance club. Very small, I didn't have a lot of space, so that's what I had to deal with. Here is the Jay Z Jazz, Jay Z Jazz, I mean. It's just a pretty small jazz club or jazz bar that every OE such ship needs. Uh, we can go back. Here is the ship, the gift shop called Ocean Store. I think I can't believe it's pretty dark here, so it's I think it's Ocean Store. It's a gift shop basically, a really small gift shop because I didn't have a lot of space. Here is the reception for the ship. So yeah, and here is the shore elegance. Fucking go out. It's the jewelry shop. Pretty, really small actually. The jewelry shop. So we can go actually in here because here is the green palm mound. But I actually forgot to name it. So crap, I need to name it. But this is the green palm cafe actually. The OECL Mark cafe. So yeah, the Green Palm um, Cafe. At the next over the street is the uh, in-frame Photoshop. It's the photo gallery of the ship because the cruise cruise company takes like thousand pictures of you, so they need to sell it, and if they sell it here, here's the second deck of the theater again. You can actually get access the bow from this deck, so that's pretty cool, I guess. There's also the master station. This actually was a sun deck, but I just I realized that I didn't have a master station, so I had to remove the sun deck to make it a master station. So we need to be quick now. So if we run over here, we can go up the elevator, no, the staircase to deck five, five the Cosmal deck with the Balkan decks. These decks are pretty. Small, they are me mini size Balkan decks. Um, here is the Tide Lounge or the Tide Suite. It's like the suite of ship where the rich people who live know the suites are. They have like, their own lounge, if you see, overlooking the Abra Useful Atrium. And I will just show you one cabin of the uh, Tide. If you see, they have double doors up. Kind of huge bedroom and an enormous bathroom with a quite big size balcony. And there are four cabins in the Tide, the tide Suite. So, yeah, here is the Tide Lounge, and here is where the Tide passengers can eat like breakfast, dinner, and like lunch if they want to. So, yeah. They have like the private service and stuff. And if we go back, you actually can see the uh, dining room back here. So I'm just gonna fly quickly over. So yeah, the dining room is back here. And you see there's quite a lot of balcony cabins, but they are really small. And there are a lot of different balcony cabins. Again, to deck six, the sun deck, aka sink it. And the sun deck also has the bridge so if you want to check the bridge deck out you need to go to deck 6 there are more normal or really small balcony <laughs> cabins and if you go out here in the rain here is the sun deck wow it's raining oh my god so here is the sun deck or the Later deck with the pool, some hot tubs, uh, some seatings and bars. It's called the island, the island cocktails and what's this? 
name called the tropical yeah, the tropical i named the uh, sun deck bar new like new names because i didn't want to have the older ones so that's why they have new names here is the original grill it's like a buffet style area because i uh, the old the gen generation 2 ship had it so i just thought why shouldn't i add it it's unlike this really cool thing i made like outdoor restaurants you see with like a rooftop so here's like a uh, infinite pool for i think it was just for on this generation 2 ship it was only for adults only so i think on this ship this is also for adult only so yeah at the other side it's the asian walk asian walk express uh, asian sh like asian walk area up here is like the playground or the sports track for the ship uh we have like tennis court i guess a pretty small tennis court and a, like on like a roof gaming area with like a air hockey table and a pool table and here's just a ping pong table i just love where, where it is like a real tennis court and beside it is a small like a table tennis court or a table tennis here is a um, what's it called a uh, uh, mini golf you see pretty small mini golf with six puts but i can't say it name is pretty hard to say if of course over here is like a small exercise area with like a punching bag a monkey bar and a bar we can go to the front again and at the front here is the spa deck i think that's the spa deck the deck six barbados has two facilities the living room is and it's like a small lounge where it feels like a living room you see it is a bar seating some books to read on and a tv screen yeah and here is the spa lagoon not the lagoon spa it's a spa of the ship it's really small it is really small the spa i'm sorry with the woman and man section if you see how small these showers are it barely can fit anybody here but i managed to fit a fitness center fitness center very small with just a few facilities two private bar two private bar rooms if you see two private bar rooms and a thermal room yes oh i forgot to say that the living room lounge has like a outdoor area i don't know why it has one but i just had place to put it here's the running track of the ship i actually forgot that it actually existed it loops around the front half of the ship and if you go to the front fair you have an amazing view of the ocean with like a screen like a wind protector and at the side you can go here get blasted by the wind and have an amazing bridge view wing and because of the white under here is the bridge bridge so we can go up to deck 8 that is the only deck that doesn't have a name <laughs> and on deck 8 has like the chess board where you can play um, like bigger big chess um like seating areas more seating areas and if we fly to the other side it has a lounge for the adult only called real life 18 plus so adult only like spa no not spa a lounge and up here is antenna that should be the small tour of the ship i didn't tour I show you everything of the ship i just give you like a briefly preview because i really want you to check out the ship for yourself so if you're interested please like go to the link in the description or just click the download button if you are in minecraft already so i hope you enjoyed this video guys please like subscribe and see you next time goodbye